So the film started because I was interested in why a lot of young women today are having huge sleeve tattoos and neck tattoos and what their inspiration and motivation was. As part of that conversation, someone pointed me in the direction of Amy, so I kind of Googled her like you know most people would and was just blown away by her story. I read the autobiography in about a day and a half. The amount of things she squeezed into her life, bearing in mind she was a, you know, a late 19th century, born in 1864, she grew up extraordinarily wealthy, but rather than sit around and spend the money in New York and hang around in bars and buy jewelry, she decided to travel the world and she had some incredible adventures. As part of that, she came in contact with tattoos and body art and sort of ethnic and indigenous cultures and she embraced it. She kind of took it on board and she took it back to New York and it really was a game changer. The, 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 the newspapers went crazy. She kind of played them at their own game. The bit that I concentrated on was, was the tattoo. I mean, the story's just too big to, you know, to tackle, you know, in a short form documentary. So I kind of figured Amy went through the same processes that a lot of women go through today to decide on, you know, a tattoo and what kind of tattoo and where it goes and all these kind of big decisions you have to make on a, you know, a permanent piece of body art. And the women who've taken part in this film have been really great at talking about these things. Of course, Amy, not being your run-of-the-mill socialite, decided that um, part of her research would include sleeping with a boa constrictor. She wrote about it in her autobiography very, um, very intimately, and the film illustrates that night with Carr, and I think it was very instrumental in her decision to have a snake tattoo. Amy certainly lived her life to the full. She was strong, independent, and empowered. A lot of those qualities, I think, are evident in the women that have you know, shared their stories in the film. Um, and I hope you enjoy it, and you can watch it on Vimeo. It's available this week. Um, please leave a comment, please let us know what you think. Um, and if you love Amy anywhere near as much as I do, I think leave a comment and share it with your friends. Thanks very much.